Let me know Do I still got time to grow? Things That's my channel, so today I'm going to be recording my everyday like neutral glam look Let And this is when I'm really know. not trying to like do it up I'm really not trying to wear eyeshadow and do it all out But I just want, do you know, I to look presentable or whatever so Anyways um, I already did my brows. What I use for my brows is my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brown, the shade Walnut. Absolutely love this product, and I love the brush. I was sent this product, but I will be re but I will be repurchasing that product. Like I love it. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Like I said, I already did my brows, and I already also did my skin prep. I love this hydrating serum by Ines Free. Um, so I already put this on like earlier in the day I did like a you know skin routine or whatever so now I'm just gonna go straight in with my um, foundation and no I haven't been using a primer I just go straight in with the foundation so today I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 430 and I've been liking I don't know not too much but I like to go in with like a light layer and then I'll see like you know if I want to add more but I've been liking the more like breathable looking look if that makes sense because like sometimes like we can apply area like foundations to certain areas um, that we don't really even need a lot on so I don't know that's been like what I've been doing lately. I think that's like about all the foundation that I'm going to put and of course I'm gonna bring it down so I'm gonna make sure everything is fully blended um, but I've been really liking this foundation I also like the NARS natural radiant foundation but I don't know between yesterday and today, I was like, mm, something's off. Like, I feel like the shade is off or I don't know. You know how you pick up foundations like certain days and it's like, oh, no, nah, something went wrong with this foundation. Something just looks a little off. So I'm going to go to Sephora and get a sample of another shade and see if I'm bugging or not. Um, but I'm probably going to have them shade match me even though I don't like when I don't know. It all depends on how the workers look, honestly, if they are you know skilled enough to do shade matches so um, I go in with that then I just go in with my concealer I usually use the Fenty Beauty concealer but I don't have any more so I'm just gonna go in with this black radiance true complexion HD corrector um, and apply it to the areas that I like but y'all I recently um, yesterday have wrote a blog post about not like tired of doing things God's way um, and it was just like a post because I've been feeling such a battle of like me not wanting just certain areas in my life where I'm like, God, I'm tired of doing certain things like your way. And of course, like I end up honoring God with my decisions, but it's not an easy thing. And I think that everyone who has been serving God comes to that question. It's like, oh my gosh, God, what the heck is going on? Because I feel like I just can't do it. And it all goes back to perseverance and endurance and um i wrote a blog post about it so definitely check it out but i feel like after like writing and releasing my thoughts and praying about like exactly how i feel i feel so much better like words cannot explain um just because certain things even though like you're doing it for god it's not easy to uphold and like you don't want to do it. it like it takes a lot of work and people don't notice that when you do these things like even though it's ministry or you were called to a business or you're called to do a blog like these things require major upkeeping like it's not like you know it's a walk in the park at all like everything that i do or i have been doing like it's only by the grace of god that i've keep like kept doing it and maintaining it and it's a lot of work it is and sometimes you feel like you're not going anywhere god is, is am i really inspiring people am i really doing what you want me to do like that is my life story and sometimes i get into these good moods where i'm like yo i'm actually proud of you and some days i'm like yo what is going on this sucks <laughs> like 
I don't know. It just depends. And um, that's not just me being honest. But I've definitely needed that, like, time to, like, get it out and be real with God. And I'm really going through, like, a transition season. It, season, <laughs> season it, I can't. A transition season just because like I'm graduating now um, but through that transition with me being in school I felt like it was a lot of um, isolation and not isolation when you have to separate yourself but it's like I'm doing school and it's hard to like manage relationships and that therefore resulted in like me sometimes feeling like I don't have a lot of the relationships that I used to have so but then after that I'm like a lot of things has changed as far as like what I want in relationships as well um so it's like being honest to God and like saying like this is what I desire and I feel like this is like the first time I'm being like completely vulnerable about that. But like the older you get, the harder it is to find like a good circle, you know? And like, I don't like huge friendship groups, but at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Cause I feel like I want to have like close knit, a lot of close knit friendships, but it's like, I don't have the time for the most part to upkeep these things and like cater to everybody's needs when people want to talk all the time and I literally can't get back to them over the weekend and they're offended and I have no idea why. And you know, it's like, I, I then I'm just like, I can't be that type of friend. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, that's just like a transition. So I'm like, I, I gotta get plugged and again once I graduate back into the things that I used to do like I used to be a part of the dance ministry and I'm like maybe um, I want to just get back to what I used to do if that makes sense because I feel like that's when I'll start to feel more like myself because I feel so disconnected because this transition was a lot for me like moving from one industry to another and you guys knew that I came from the fashion industry I actually went to FIT and then God was like oh I want you to do something more purposeful like I no longer felt a lot of passion for fashion and it sounds so cliche but I honestly didn't and I was like okay I'm gonna leave but like the transition was hard and it it affected more than just me physically moving you know like it affected relationships and it reflected in like my time and a lot of things it, it, it's just a lot of sacrifice so yeah i'm gonna go in and blend this out a little bit more um and then i'm gonna go in with my fenty powder in the shade Ooh, that almost dropped. honey um so yeah i just realized and i come to terms with a lot of things and I like I'm super proud and happy that I'll be graduating and I passed my teacher certification I have my master's but I'm like nothing is ever the in all be all at all <laughs> so if that sounds right it's nothing is ever the in all be all so it's like it's always gonna be it's not like okay you graduated and I'm learning that you have never just like arrived it's always something else not to say it puts a lot of like anxiety but it's like okay that's one accomplishment like I'm so happy and it's gonna be the next transition of life which is like I don't know what's gonna happen after after this but um yeah that's cool that's just how I feel um so yeah All right, so after that, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Bronzer if I can find it. Where is it? Um, but other than that, I'm just gearing up to have an event in New York. I have these brunches. Like, I know I bring it to this channel um, and I mention it, but I'm having another one on May 4th. So if you're in Brooklyn, I would definitely love to see you. And this is basically just like a woman's brunch 
faith based so we dig in the word we have real conversations and even if your walk with god is not where it should be we accept everybody so it's just like a really so it's just like a good conversation with a lot of women talking about god and just being honest about where we are so i really like that um right now i'm going in with the fenty bronzer i'm like dag all fenty should be a sponsor <laughs> not joking um so this is that this bronzer is so weird because it's like i can see it showing up but i'm like can they see it and it's very subtle but like i said it's nothing like really special i don't think i'm going to actually like repurchase this once it's done it's just like okay i knew what the hype was about now um all right now do i have to repurchase i don't think so um usually i go in with my powder right under um where i put the bronzer All right, so this is how I look. But yeah, I also wanna talk about just support in general. I don't think people know like what it takes when it comes to a blog or YouTube or just starting anything. It takes a lot of energy. Um, so a lot of people, they'll like sit back and like, I think my pet peeve, honestly, when people like talk to me about what I do with like either Soul Style Beauty or um, God Girls Brunch is that they'll say like oh my goodness Imara I really like what you're doing but I'm like zero action is being taken like it's not like you shouted out anything you came act like physically and supported it's not like you told people word of mouth like it's it's nothing so like to me I think that's like one of the her, her, ugh, I can't talk today. Um, one of the most like hurtful things as an entrepreneur is like when you have to beg people to support you. And I like to me, quite frankly, I'm just like I'm, I'm tired of it. And um, even though I feel that it's bigger than me, it's nice when somebody can just be like, you know what? You did a good job or I really like what you're doing and they actually put it in act and like you know they show it in their actions it's nice to see that your friends are for what you're doing or like the people you surround yourself with are for what you're doing and you don't have to ask constantly like oh can you support oh can you post oh can you do that like you know and that's why I said I don't think people know it's not like they know that they're not supporting but like I think that they're not a lot of people I know they're not doing a blog or they don't have a blog or they don't have a business so they, they don't really know that it matters to actually show up like and do things um, and show with your actions. So now I'm going to go on with my overall um, face powder if I can find my brush. I can't find anything today but it's a blonde. Um, I'm going to go in I'm going to blend out that. And I also love to put powder like right on my lids because I just hate greasy lids. I'm going to actually go on with my NARS blush. This is the blush in Exhibit A and I absolutely love this blush, y'all. It is a fave. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of that smile and put on some blush. So you saw the color that it just automatically brought to my skin and I all like I love it. Like you don't understand how much I love that blush. Um so I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu. I'm probably gonna do one side at a time just so it doesn't dry fast. Alright, so then I look and I see where my skin is glowing and I just put on that highlighter exactly where I see it glowing.
For the next product that I want to use is the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara by Wanda Beauty. And I just love Wanda Beauty because they were the first, one of the few first brands that actually offered me like an opportunity because I'm not like a huge blogger. Um, but they definitely support and that's one thing that I really like about them. It, they're not about the numbers. Um, and I really like that when brands like offer opportunities and they have great products so definitely check out Wonder Beauty they also have an event um, on Thursday that I'll be attending so I'm happy about that so as for lips um, I usually use a lip gloss when I'm not trying to do it up like I said um, but this is the Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne Glass um, by e.l.f. Cosmetics and it is bomb. I absolutely love it. It does give you a little tingle, but I love this gloss. But yeah, if you literally want to stop here, stop here, but then you can also add like a lash. I've been definitely adding like a lash if I wanted to, just because it gives it that extra oomph. Um, but other than that, I feel like this is fine. This is like neutral glam enough for you to be outside, and this is what I do um, when I don't want to do too much. So I hope that you guys really like this video. I hope that you liked the topics that I was talking about, just being real, being honest, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.